It is so sad that platforms that have been created and set up for easy communications, to reconnect with old friends and people, to socialize, are now being used to ruin, tarnish and destroy somebody's life. we will be talking about cyberbullying and image-based abuse. Now before we get to it, I'll give my guest an opportunity to introduce herself and then we'll get to it. Okay. Karibu sana. Thank you very much. Can you introduce yourself? My name is Joyce Mgoi, uh, Director Office of Career Services in Chuka University. And above that, I am a psychological counselor, I'm a career counselor, and I can also say I'm a teacher. And I'm also happy to be here today to be able to talk about uh, cyberbullying and image-based uh, violence because um, it is something that actually needs to be discussed. So thank you for inviting me to the show. Okay, thank yes. you too for being here. Mm. So cyberbullying, mm. let's start with cyberbullying. What yes. is cyberbullying? Cyberbullying is um, using uh, social networks, mm -hmm. using social networks to be able to threaten someone, to be able to harass someone, to be able to um, speak negative about someone, to generally be able to cause emotional harm, physic, uh, emotional harm and uh, psychological harm to someone using the social media platforms. It can be Facebook, it can be WhatsApp, it can be, you know, generally the internet, you know, writing something negative about someone. It can be your blogging and you're writing something, you know, uh, destroying about someone. Okay. So that's generally what cyberbullying is all about. All right. Yes. Uh, briefly tell us some of the examples of cyberbullying. Some of the examples of cyberbullying are things to do with, uh, like sometimes someone can, um, can, can uh, decide to, use a statement probably that you made and they use it to the negative or they use it to criticize you or they use it to bring it down mm -hmm. maybe just a statement that you you made or maybe they use uh, your your image they use your image again mm -hmm. maybe a photo that you have taken they uh, pull you down they you know harass you they tell you things that are not uh, really kind to you and generally it's using anything that you have probably put in the social media or they can also pick something from somewhere else and put it there just to embarrass you, okay. uh, to cause you harm. They can take your photo even maybe in a public place, maybe where you are enjoying yourself. Mm -hmm. they, they put it in the public place. You know, like for ladies, sometimes I see um, embarrassment, maybe the way you are dressed and then yeah. someone comes. When you are at your relaxed mm -hmm. mood, they come take a photo of you and they put it in the social media. Okay. That is actually cyberbullying. Right. That is cyberbullying. And it can also happen in games. In yeah. games, there is the gaming, the gaming space, mm -hmm. where we have uh, uh, youth playing there in the gaming space. Mm -hmm. They can also, uh, they can bully each other, even in that gaming, gaming yeah. space. Yeah. So that's generally what cyberbullying okay. is all about. Okay. Yes. Words like, uh, go kill yourself, mm -hmm. you are ugly. Mm -hmm. Is that cyberbullying? Yes. Is that that's cyberbullying? Mm -hmm. Even even other uh, words that we cannot probably pronounce yeah, sometimes yeah. the f words, mm -hmm. the whatever. Mm -hmm. That's actually cyberbullying. Okay. Even that one of go kill yourself, mm -hmm. you know, or uh, someone has probably put their problems out there, and then people are bringing that person down. Mm -hmm. They are telling you can even kill yourself. You can do this. You can do that. Yeah. That's actually cyber cyberbullying. Okay. Anything anything that um, affects someone psychologically mm -hmm. 
and emotionally that is cyberbullying anything that is put there against someone and is going to bring that person down emotionally psychologically that is cyberbullying okay. yes another question madam yes. mm. what are the causes of uh, why is it that people are so mean <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, the causes of uh, cyberbullying can uh, range. They can actually range. Mm -hmm. One of them can be environment, where that person is coming from, the one who is harassing. The one who is harassing, the one who is calling names, the one who is mean yeah. to this person. It can also be the environment where they Tell are coming us from. A little bit about that. Uh, you know, um, the, the, way, the way children or human beings grow. Mm -hmm. If you are in a certain environment where there is love, where there is peace, yeah. where there is understanding mm -hmm. of each other, mm -hmm. where generally you are not under uh, so much stress, mm -hmm. you tend to be kinder to other people. Yeah. When you, are, you grow in an environment where there is love, you tend also to love people. Mm -hmm. You tend to think the best about people. You tend to give people you know, room to be themselves. But if you grow in an environment where you yourself, you are under pressure, mm -hmm. you are under stress, mm -hmm. you are abused, you are harassed, you also tend to harass other people. Yeah. You also tend to bring other people down. You tend not to see the best about people. Mm -hmm. So the environment can contribute. Okay. The family can contribute in the same way. What kind of a family do you come from? Yeah. If you come uh, from a family where you are calling each other names and so on, you'll call people names in the, in the social media and you will not feel that like there is anything wrong. Oh. So okay. the family where you are coming from, what kind of a family do you call each other names? Mm -hmm. Do you show each other love? Do you show each other compassion? Do you, you know, uh, accept each other the, 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 the way you are? So it depends on the environment, depends on the family where you come from. It also depends on, um, it also, another cause is also what that person is going through at that particular moment. Okay. There could be very many people in the social media that are going through stress, that yeah. they are going through frustrations. And they are just waiting to vent it out on someone. So that's the best way of venting <laughs> that is, out. Yeah, they, they will just out vent it out on someone. Mm -hmm. Then another, another cause is uh, um, that uh, the, uh, whatever comment they are making there, maybe they are making a comment to that person because that person reminds them of something yeah. or reminds them of someone. Mm -hmm. For instance, if we use an example of someone who um, they are harassing uh, someone because probably of the decision they have decided to make for their life. Yeah. You know, there are people who decide maybe even uh, a relationship is not working and they decide to go. You know, they decide to go and they share it there that uh, now it is over. Let me, you know, take care of myself and so on. Eh? Mm -hmm. There'll be someone whose relationships also ended that will react to that in a negative way mm -hmm. because it's reminding them of their own, yeah. their own experiences their own frustrations and therefore they may be reacting to that not necessarily that person but they are remembering things yeah. that they have gone through mm -hmm. so you may find that um, that violence that harassment is meted on this person not necessarily because that person is to blame but it could be these people are going through uh, some kind of uh, experiences okay. yes so when is enough enough <laughs> <laughs> when is enough enough mm -hmm. actually generally there should be no reason to cyber bully someone. Okay. There should be no reason to cyber bully someone. It should not be allowed and it should not take place. Remember these people have families, mm -hmm. they have friends, yeah. they have relatives, they are human beings just like you. So you may be bullying them because you don't know them, but in the real sense, these are human beings. These are people. They are people just like you. So this is, this is not something that we can we can negotiate and say okay let's let let cyberbullying go up to here and then up to here we say no I mean any kind of cyberbullying should not happen if you don't want if you don't have any kind word to comment on someone's post please don't comment don't comment on that post if you don't have some something kind or something that can help them then keep off from from uh, commenting enough is enough when the person cannot take it and you know. There is uh, even in in the Kenyan laws, it is against cyberbullying. Okay, before we go, yes. we go there, eh? <laughs> yes. will I be wrong if I say that uh, cyberbullying? Uh, okay, people that are in such a uh, thing, like mm. people who bully yes, others. Yes. Yes. Will I be wrong if I say that they have insecurity issues? They do. Okay. They Tell actually do. They uh, okay. Most of the people that actually do cyberbullying, mm -hmm. 
they are insecure in their own way. The way they feel, they are insecure. Another thing, they have low self-esteem of themselves low self-esteem so the the because of the low self-esteem they like to drag someone down mm -hmm. to feel like they are in a space higher space than them uh, so there is the power. insecurity yes mm -hmm. there is insecurity there is low self-esteem mm -hmm. those people also are lonely people mm. they are lonely people and these are some people some of those people are addicted to internet mm -hmm. the only connection they have is the internet mm -hmm. they may not have connection with a, a proper connection with real people uh, in the real world that can actually moderate that kind of their attitude and that kind of the behavior okay. so some of those people are loners they are loners some of them are people who are withdrawn you know just withdrawn and uh, of course some of them we can also say there are some that are psycho psycho in the sense that they derive pleasure by hurting other, other people, people. Oh. they derive pleasure by hurting other people or making other people cry or making other people feel mm -hmm. that they're actually frustrated is and so on <laughs> it is it is a mental thing. it's a mental health problem okay. it is a mental health mm -hmm. problems uh, so i think those are some of the people that actually their insecurity their self-esteem is not very very good they are loners themselves some of them are addicted to the internet mm -hmm. those are some of the people that actually go to the internet to even harass other people okay. people that they don't know all right yes this is an interesting conversation going on here with madam joyce we'll be right back for more do not change the channel Welcome back. Before we went for a break, we were talking about cyberbullying and some of the causes of such an act. So, Madam Jane, yes. yes, because this is something that is happening mm. everywhere mm. on social media, Facebook, mm. Twitter, mm. Instagram, and all those other social media platforms. Mm. How do we stop this or how do we prevent this? Okay. I think uh, it's very important for um, people to be able to create awareness. Like now what you are doing is very, very good because someone who will watch this program will get to know that cyberbullying is wrong. So the first thing is to create awareness, okay. to create awareness that um, there is no need of, uh, of, of uh, harassing someone or uh, putting negative comments in the social media just to make someone feel bad because those comments don't really help. They end up you know, frustrating someone. So uh, creating awareness like uh, what you are doing now, people uh, uh, we create awareness and we inform people that uh, they shouldn't do uh, cyberbullying because it is wrong. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the other thing is as we are creating awareness, we also ask them a question. Would they want, would they like if someone treated them in the same way? You know, when we empathize or if we empathize on other people, we will not be able to treat them wrongly. You, every, every time you want to do something to someone, you ask yourself, would I want them? to do the same, the same thing to me. So creating awareness is one thing. Then they also need to know that um, there is a law against that. There is a law against that. There are people who have been arrested for abusing someone. There are people who have been abused, uh, have been arrested. There are people who have been taken to court. So the Kenyan law itself actually protects people from cyberbullying okay. and such same, like right? things. Yes. On the same. It yes. Means, eh, yes. If I go and sue someone, yes. Um, action will, will, will be taken. Yes. Action will be taken. Mm -hmm. So long as you have real evidence. You have real evidence, you have taken a screenshot and there, there is proof that this is the person that has actually said these negative words, uh, you know, against me and so on. The, yes, um, the, they can, uh, steps can be taken and they can actually be fined or they can be imprisoned. So there is, the law is there. The law is there mm -hmm. to protect people. It's just because most of the time people ignore these things and they don't want to go through that whole emotional uh, stress again. So they end up just giving up ab about it. But we need to create awareness yeah. like you are doing now that cyberbullying is wrong. Yeah. And cyberbullying, there are rules and laws in Kenya mm -hmm. that protect people from cyberbullying. Okay. Yes. All right. Mm. Image-based abuse. Yes. <laughs> 
Let's image. talk about that. <laughs> that is also a major concern. It's a major concern. Yeah. I know image-based uh, um, abuse is also a major concern. Now, image-based um, abuse mm. um, is a bit uh, wide. Okay. In the sense that when, when you talk about the word itself, image-based abuse, mm. you, you look at the image, the person's image. Yeah. The person's image are they short are they tall are they fat are they slim yeah. are they uh, are they uh, yellow are they uh, white are they black. black are they you know all that eh? it's quite uh, broad but the other the other definition of image based abuse mm -hmm. is when um, someone shares mm -hmm. when someone shares with malicious intent maybe your photos your photos they could be nudes mm -hmm. um, probably you shared with them probably they are the ones who are keeping them or they were their custodian of these nude uh, mm -hmm. photos but now they have decided to share them or they have decided to spray them there in the in the public mm -hmm. so that's another another um, definition of image based uh, abuse okay. there is the body self how you look and so on and someone can can decide to actually threaten you harass you call you names because of how you look or it can also be that um, at the time when you are confidential or intimate with someone you probably took some nudes yeah. you took some photos you shared with them these photos and then when now you are no longer in terms with them yeah. they decide they are going to Spread them. spread them they're they going threaten. to share them they threaten and probably do it and oh, or yeah. even blackmail you uh, so that they you know they can just have you back so that's another thing that also happens in social media okay. now that you've mentioned it yes um, how about probably I have photos of you yes on my gadgets yes or maybe you send them to me mm -hmm. I might not have leaked them mm -hmm. on social media mm -hmm. but um, I might have shown them to some people like a few people <laughs> it's also wrong yes yeah. it's also it's it's also wrong mm -hmm. you know why those photos were meant for you. you yeah if they were meant for other people that person would have sent them yeah. to those other, those other people, people. Yeah. so if the person sent them to you mm -hmm. they are meant for you mm -hmm. if you start sharing them with other people or start showing them to other people mm -hmm. then it is still the same thing it is still an abuse. Okay. It is still an abuse. Yeah. Yes. Right. Yes. <laughs> and imagine these are things that happen. Yeah. It's only that uh, th these are things that they happen. Are they yes. happen. Relationships break. There were nude photos that were, circul were between the two mm -hmm. and they decide to to leak them. Yes. Leave alone that. Mm -hmm. We also have these people that um, what can I say that uh, follow that follow someone, maybe they know this person or maybe they don't know this person. We have even seen some, some dignitaries or some important people in the society. Yeah. Um, re, uh, they, are, they are retreating to their own places of privacy and so on. And there are people who follow them, take yeah. photos of them yeah. and then share them out. Other than that, these dignitaries, these big people, they are, they are friends or they, they get friends and they are intimate with these friends and these friends are taking what? Photos and when they leave that place, now they start, you know, uh, spreading those, uh, those photos. Yeah. So we have that. We have, these are two people, they are in good terms, they are sharing these photos, then when they are not in good terms, they spread them. We also have the malicious ones that uh, they know that they are timing this person, they are really luring this person. So at the uh, weakest point of this person, they take photos of them and they, they spread them, they use them, they, they use them. Um, either so that they can blackmail them or they can taint their names, mm -hmm. even for political gains and yeah. so on. We also have that kind of a scenario. Okay. We also have a scenario where uh, there's people take you photos without your permission, yeah. without your, your consent. consent. You yeah. did not allow them to take those photos mm -hmm. and then they are using them. Mm -hmm. So again, even that one is still image-based okay. abuse. Is it a mental issue or a power issue? Or <laughs> what's the real of issue? Course we, yeah. Of course we have, um, uh, just the way I said, there are some people that are psychos yeah. or they have psychological uh, problems. Mm -hmm. Like we have psycho people who have psychological problems even in the villages where they go peeping 
where people are showering yeah. and they you know they get you know satisfaction from from that yeah. they go peep where people are showering, they go take photos where people are showering. Mm -hmm. Those are people that are mentally, you know, they, they are psychos. They are mentally challenged. Yeah. They are mentally challenged in the sense that they are deriving satisfaction from where they are not supposed to derive mm -hmm. uh, satisfaction. But other than that, we also have people that, um, what can I say, mean people, just mean people. Yeah. And then another thing, if it's a relationship that has broken, mm -hmm. the pain and the frustration also makes people want to do this thing to have the person back just the blackmail that you're talking about mm -hmm. so they feel if they threaten you with those photos they will have you back mm -hmm. so not necessarily because they are mentally challenged but the frustration the pain the bitterness of that moment mm -hmm. can make them do things that they will regret later or can make them do things that otherwise they would not have done yeah. but because of the bitterness because of the frustration that particular time they are not rational in their thinking they are irrational in their thinking so they end up doing irrational irrational things so some of them may be psychologically you know they are psychos some of them may not be psychos but the pain the bitterness of the moment makes them do irrational irrational things yeah. but does it mean that if your heart or in pain you should go around you know ruining no like there it's not supposed to be like that but at the moment when they are in pain their thinking is not straight. Mm -hmm. Do you know the thinking is not straight when they are in pain and when they are in bitterness? Their thinking at that particular moment is not straight. And that's why we have people that kill themselves okay. or kill other people because of that point. If you let them cool, they would not make that decision. But when they are, they are, in, when they are in that particular state, that particular moment, mm -hmm. they may do irrational things. Whether those irrational things are allowed or not, the answer is no, they are not allowed. You know, it's just an irrational act that people uh, can be able to do without necessarily thinking and it will have negative repercussions against them. Okay. Yes. All right. Ooh, image based abuse. Can we be a little <laughs> bit more kind to people? Yes. Please? We should be a little bit more kind. Yeah. Even even uh, to, things to do with um, body shaming. Yeah. Body shaming is one of the, the image based whatever. Yeah. Body shaming. You are fat. You are you are yes. too thin. You are too black. You are too white. You are too yellow. You are too what? You know? Mm -hmm. And anyway, when, when people are doing that, according to whose standards, whose standards are they using to be able to judge you yeah. and to be able to tell you you are too black or you are too white or you are too thin or you are too fat? Whose standards are they using? I mean, whose standards, really? Whose standards? Yeah. The theirs that is in their mind, not for this particular yeah. person. Unless the person is lamenting. If the person takes a photo and laments and says, I think I'm too thin, then you can respond. But if the person is not lamenting, they just take their photo, they are happy there, and then all of a sudden you start saying, you are fat. According to whose standards? Mm -hmm. According to whose standards yeah. are you talking about? Mm -hmm. You know, someone being fat or someone being thin or someone, someone being short or someone being tall. Yeah. I mean, people should be let to be. Okay. After all, if this world, all of us looked the same, it would be monotonous. Yeah. True. It would be monotonous. Yo, my <laughs> beloved people, can you be a yeah. little bit kind to each other, please? Yes, yes. Okay, we'll be right back for now. Welcome back. Um, before we went for a break, we were talking about image-based abuse. And it is crazy to think that something like clicking a button can ruin somebody's life. Or even typing something can really ruin somebody's life. Madam Joyce. Yes. To what should we do to stop all this or prevent all this? What should we do to prevent all this? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, number one, we should all know why we go to the social media. Okay we should all know why we post something. Mm -hmm. Because if we post with the right intent, sometimes some of these things will not, um, will not happen. But generally, you know, social media is social media. People post what they think is good. Yeah. People post what they think will impress the others. 
uh, people post what they think will attract comments will attract comments that's what people post in the in the social media yeah. so um, what do we do now to avoid this particular um, maybe cyber bullying and even image based uh, for you who is posting you may not do much you may not do much unless you are posting something that will actually attract those kinds of things yeah. because again there are things that you can post that can attract those kinds of those kinds of things yeah. like in the social media you may find that someone has posted almost nude also yeah. definitely you will have people arriving there and uh, yeah. you know saying things eh, that uh, may not be very very kind so it depends also on what you are posting okay. so first of all we we need to know why do we go to social media to post what are we posting mm -hmm. and when we are posting what kind of comments are we attracting yeah. so for those who are posting have that in mind every time that you are you are posting mm -hmm. but for those who are commenting also um, think what this comment of yours is going to do to the other yeah. to the other person mm -hmm. so if you think uh, too much is too much as you are saying if you think too much is too much as you're saying you've posted something in the social media mm -hmm. it has attracted all sorts of comments that you really don't like you can take a break from the social media you can decide to take a break from the social media maybe not even a whole day but uh, check once in a while maybe you can decide twice in a day maybe i'll check in the morning i'll check in the evening because of those comments because they will affect you if you continue to read those particular comments they will affect you so you can take a break from the social media you can take a break if it is something that you can pull down if it was something that was negative then you can pull it down okay. when you pull it down the the comments of course uh, they stop you can pull it down you can take a break from the social media if you think it's really something that you need to take steps against take screenshots so that you can be able to have evidence take screenshots you can report and uh, steps can be can be taken against those particular people okay. another thing is we need to know these people that are commenting to you they don't know you yeah. so while you are spending so much energy feeling hurt and feeling frustrated and feeling bitter and feeling all that mm -hmm. remember these people do not know they don't know you yeah. actually they are commenting to the figure in the social media and not to you because they don't even know you mm -hmm. although some people know like now yeah. when we talk about um, about celebrities mm -hmm. when people are mean to celebrities they know who they are getting mean yeah. mean to they know although they don't know these people they don't know as a, at a personal level mm -hmm. they don't know a, a, as a, at a personal level mm -hmm. so for you who is receiving these comments get to know that these people they don't even know you yeah. so whatever comments that they are, they are they are making there while they are hurting you as a person they they are actually not uh, let's say they are not like uh, meant for you as per se yeah. they are meant for this particular scenario in the in the social media mm. so taking a break is one thing knowing why you are commenting or you are you are posting mm -hmm. is another thing yeah. watching out what you you, you post mm -hmm. is another thing mm -hmm. and if you you feel that uh, there is too much on you and you want to take steps again you can you can take steps yeah. you can pull down whatever uh, you are you had put that has attracted all that mm -hmm. you can pull it down mm -hmm. but generally take care of yourself yeah. take care of your of yourself okay yeah. now that you're a counselor yes. some of these things really affect people yes. psychologically and yes. emotionally yes uh they start having low self esteem mm -hmm. and a number of them will commit suicide mm -hmm. because they cannot stand the trauma mm -hmm. so what are they supposed to do okay first of all i would like to advise people please don't commit suicide because of a social media posts the reason why is to, is you today after 2 3 days people will forget and move on after a week people will forget and move on after 2 weeks people will forget and move on after a month people will forget and move on so don't take this uh, social media and uh, the comments there to be so serious to an extent of taking permanent solution to a temporary problem you know committing suicide is a permanent solution to a temporary problem a problem yeah. that will end so what i can advise because yes it is true mm -hmm. 
there is a lot of uh, emotional turmoil, bitterness, frustration, stress, sometimes sleeplessness, yeah. sometimes, you know, uh, anger, sometimes uh, a lot of frustration goes go on. And um, sometimes these psychological and emotional uh, frustrations can also manifest themselves physically, where you start getting psychosomatic stress. Your face starts becoming rough, you are under stress, or you, you are not eating properly, you don't have appetite, and so on. So it can also start manifesting physically. So what I can say is that there is help. We have psychological counselors, even wherever you are, there are psychological counselors. If there are no psychological counselors in the center where you, you are, you can get psychological counselors in institutions. Even if you go to secondary schools, there will be a counselor in that secondary school. So they, you can be able to get some help. There, there can be a counselor in institutions like yeah. universities, colleges. Mm -hmm. We have counselors that are trained. Yeah. So if you're in your shopping center, there is nowhere written counselor. Please look for them in institutions. Look for them even in the hospitals and get some help. Okay. Get some help. If you have a friend also who is close to you and you know they can give you good advice, you can also share with her. You, you can also share with your, with your friend. Mm -hmm. But don't go to the extremes of harming yourself, hurting yeah. yourself because of, of a social media comment. Okay. Because there is hope. Right. There is hope. There is hope. Yeah, there is hope. Okay. Yes. All right, um, let us be a little bit more, let us be kind to mm -hmm. each other, mm -hmm. please. Don't mm -hmm. just say anything or do something. Mm -hmm. Let us make good use of the social media platforms, mm -hmm. you know, to educate, you know, to build each other, other than tearing each other down. Mm -hmm. So, Madam Joyce. Yes. Tutakupataji. <laughs> so, um, I've said I'm a psychological counselor. Mm -hmm. I also have a YouTube channel called Touch of Grace KE. I educate uh, the youth about um, careers and also about psychological, emotional issues that may affect productivity. Because if you are working, you need to be healthy, physically, mentally, emotionally, all round for you to be able to be productive. Okay, my number is 0721 45 49 82. 0721-454982. I also um, talk to students in schools, secondary schools, even primary schools. I counsel them. Um, I talk to them about careers. So I visit a number of schools. If you need me to come and talk to your students, you can still get in touch with me and we can organize a day and we can talk about careers, we can talk about psychological issues, uh, you know, generally to motivate the students, and it can go a long way, it can go a long way. So let's continue to talk, let's continue to share, like what you're doing is also good. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes. Uh, for this amazing talk. Uh, thank you. Help us by subscribing to our channel, Golden Act TV ARC. Um, click the like button, comment, share, and also hit the notification bell so that you can be notified every time we upload something. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.